Germany. Um, just a few connections here. Uh, this is the time to make hay while the sun shines. And here they are making hay. Um, also a time of misrule because, um, because Germany is breaking down in preparation for the, for the um, summer solstice. And um, uh, so cutting, stacking the, cutting and stacking the hay is a big job because that's what the livestock will survive on during the winter. And um, Whitsun takes place seven weeks after Easter. And uh, that's the first of the three main holiday periods, the traditional holiday periods. Mm -hmm. And that's when you have outside games, sports, and competitions in the bare hay fields, um, a time of fates and fairs and pageants and parades. Um, so here you have a classic Germany connection, traveling fairs, Ferris wheels, shooting galleries, um, all sorts of games and contests, boxing competitions, coconut shies, um, uh, horse races, traveling salesmen, um, peddlers, hawkers, uh, tinkers, knife sharpeners. So all the trades would go from village to village and um, carrying their stock um, or, uh, um, or their trade on their backs. Um, bringing haberdashery and other goods and the exchange of goods, so very much the essence of Germany and um, exchanging livestock as well often. and the players, the traveling players going from place to place. And um, Witsan is also connected to the, um, the Morris dancers are dancing in honor of the goddess, the white goddess, so, um, and their dances were very much about um, the symbolic connection between um, the earth and the sun. But Pentecost is also um, another word for Whitsun, and um, that's when it commemorates the descent of the Holy Spirit upon Christ's disciples, giving them the prophetic tongue of wisdom or wit. And there, from there, they would set off on their ministries and spread the word. Another nice Germany thing to do. Um, the, the, the Morris dancers would also then drink a lot of local ale and beer. <coughs> and, uh, sort of generally, spirit of misrule as well, breaking down. And then we reach the other point, the other still point of the summer solstice. Um, so the, where the sun reaches its height and stands still. Um, and um, this was called, this has been known as the door of the year. Um, uh, in pagan times, the gateway to the inner realms, this fact. So spirit is balanced by soul. And um, the gathering of communities, well, this happened right through the summer months, but, um, and still does happen, village gatherings, now pop concerts, folk festivals, all of that sort of thing. Again, bonfires are lit. And um, processions of people with um, flaming torches would circle the fields, um, and uh, to in hope of good harvest, people visit the sea still at this time, and it is also the time traditionally of the um, well dressing, well dressing uh, festivals, to give thanks to the life giving source of the underground waters. There's a very Cancerian connection to that, um, because water, the underground waters represent our soulful connection to the source of life. Um, the point of the well-dressing festivals, the ceremonies, um, uh, which were dressed with flowers, uh, is to ensure a good supply of water for the rest of the year. Um, musical processions around, um, divining rods, so again, where you're looking for water, you would cut your divining rods um, at this time of year. And it was a celebration of the birth of St. John the Baptist, so, and, the, and the idea of holy water, and the connection between Christ, who was born on the winter solstice, and St. John the Baptist, who was born on the summer solstice, and how he uh, baptised uh, Christ um, using his purification by water. So, and now we see water as soul, and blessing the waters, and the, and the holy water that we find in church plants. Um, so water being an underground water usually being a very much significant part um, of this, uh, this time, the recognition of it. So, um, and that's the lavender, the 
chart, which is beautiful, but very much very known of the chart being um, built on um, on top of underground streams, which are sacred to the goddess. So I think that says out something about cancer. Leo, we're nearly there. So. Um, Right, dog days. The dog days are we going into fixed fire and um, the, the, into the dog days of summer, and which, which last variously, um, but generally pretty well running right through the sign of Leo. Um, and very sultry, and the, that, the Leo temperament is just uh, take it easy. Um, and and uh, this is a time when offices shut, people go on holidays, it's called the silly season, it's just absolutely better not to uh, fight it. <laughs> um, and um, it's also the time when, um, so this is the idea of, the reason it's still is the, the, the wheat has to ripen um, and it, in the hot sun. And it's a time of sunflowers as well as kind of painting. And um, so, just quietness and heat. But also, in my neck of the woods, this is a couple of crop circles from last year. Um, they appear in the wheat fields. Um, these are some extraordinary crop circles, which I think just at the very basic level, they are beautiful solar images. And there's one there which is. The word has got 12 sections. So, yeah. Um, extraordinary. But always associated with the crops, which are still ripening um, at this time. And, um, and then um, we, we get Lugnasa, which is um, the festival on the 1st of, of August. And it's a summer festival lasting for two weeks either side of the day. In celebrating the wedding of the sun god Lug and um, the earth goddess as harvest queen, earth mother, Ceres, and it's the cutting of the first wheat, the first crops, the actual cereals, and um, the celebration of that, um, because that is really the culmination of the growing season. And um, many plays around the death of the summer lord. These are um, these are um, bales of wheat which used to be set fire, um, circles of wheat like the sun, and rolled down the hills. Um, that is part of Lugnasa. Um, again, circle dancing, um, festival, um, reflecting the movement of the sun. And, eventually, and it was called uh, Lammas Tide by, in Christianity, which is the first loaf. So baking the first loaf. Um, uh, cut from this season's wheat. 